Hi guys, Ivan Cole here, and in this last video for now of, of our Logging.net to AWS CloudWatch series, we're going to go through how we can use nlog to log messages from our .NET application to AWS CloudWatch. Some prerequisites for this video, you are going to need an AWS account. So if you don't have one, you can sign up for one. We are going to be using the free tier um, limits, so you don't have to worry about paying anything. And then I've also set up the AWS, um, an AWS profile on my machine. And that just makes it easier to develop because we don't have to worry about credentials or permissions while we're developing our application. And so I'll leave the link for both of those things down in the description. So if you want to, if you haven't signed up for an account, go do that. And then if you haven't set up your AWS profile on your machine, I'd recommend you do that so you can follow along quite easily. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to create a new .NET 6 console application. And I'm just going to call it AWS Cloud Watch Logging with NLog in this case. Let's go ahead and create that. And it's going to be .NET 6. All right, so now that we've created the project, the first thing we're going to want to do is go and sort out our NuGet packages. So we're just going to go install the NLog package so if we just go and find the nlog package Ooh, that's strange and it's again nlog there we go we're just going to install nlog like that okay all right so now that we've installed nlog we can now go and create a nlog logger which we're then going to wire up to AWS CloudWatch. For now though, we're just going to first hook it up to the console. And so to do that, I'm going to create first a logger config. So we're going to say var config equals new login configuration. And it's going to moon like that. All right, so there we go. We're going to want to use nlog.config. Then we're going to go config.add rule. And this is going to, we're going to specify our log levels that this that should apply to this rule so we specify in between log level dot trace in this case and log level dot fatal and what this means is that every log message that we log with in log is going to be uh, logged to this target which in this case we're going to create a new console target like that and that good so now we just need to go and set our log managers configuration to this new config that we've just created and then we can go and get a new log manager using the in log log manager uh, static little instance. So we can just get a current class log logger like that. And now we can go and log some messages. So we're going to do the same as we did with our seri log, where we're just saying writing instruction message as a trace. And then let's go and log an information message or info in this case. And we're going to say hello world. Something like that and then let's go and log another trace message and wrote introduction message and we're happy so exclamation mark excited all right so if we go and run this let's go and see what happens might open on any of my screens so aha got it all right so it's running and we should see that it just logs messages to our console. Great, so we have an nlog logger set up. Uh, very basic, no configuration files, nothing. So now let's hook it up to AWS CloudWatch. So I'm going to close this. To hook it up, we're going to have to install another NuGet package. In this case, we're going to be installing, it's called aws.logger.nlog. And this is actually a login package or a, a library by AWS themselves that allows you to add a AWS CloudWatch target to your nlog logger. So now that we've installed it, we can go here where we added the rule for our console. We're going to add another rule for our AWS CloudWatch. So let's go config.add rule. And in this case, uh, there are other ways of configuring rules in um, nlog. This video is not going to cover all those methods. We're just doing it um, as simply as possible so that we can demonstrate how to use CloudWatch with nlog. And so 
I'm now going to create a new AWS target like that. And let's go and see what options we have when we create a new AWS target. Um, so you'll see we have all of those standard ones. And if these parameters don't make much sense, I'd suggest going to the first video in the series because we actually take a low level first principles approach to using the AWS SDK, which in the end, that's what this is doing. It's using the AWS SDK. And so these parameters will, they'll make sense if you go to the first video, but we don't have to worry about them really because the defaults are quite reasonable. And so we're just going to set, specify the log group name, which is going to be forward slash dot net logging demo forward slash unlock. And that's generally how AWS names their log groups in, doc, in um, AWS CloudWatch. Again, if this doesn't make sense, I'd suggest you go to the first video where we do dive a bit more into how AWS CloudWatch logging works. So now that we've done that, if we run this again, let's see what happens. All right, it's running. Cool. So it looks like it's run. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we go to CloudWatch now, I have it open here. Ooh, nothing. Ah, uh, hold on. My bad. So I have multiple. This is one thing with AWS profiles. Um, it's if you have multiple set up, you have to set an environment variable with the name of the profile that you want to actually use in this case. And so in this case, we're using this environment that I have or profile, AWS profile. And now if we run it, see what happens. All right. So let's run again and let's check CloudWatch. Cool. So we have a log group here and you'll see it's created that .NET logging demo for slash and log group. And inside we have a log stream. And if we open that, you'll see we have our log messages. And so that's really simple. And we've been able to log our in log messages to .NET with a few lines of code, or to CloudWatch with a few lines of code. And that's convenient because it means that if you're using in log in any existing application, you can just send those logs to CloudWatch and then use CloudWatch for querying them, um, all kinds of things. There are a few parameters, which I'll just point out. So we can set batch push interval. And so that determines how frequently logs should be sent to, to AWS CloudWatch. So remember, if you watched the first video, log messages aren't sent individually, but rather we batch them and then we send them to CloudWatch. And so this batch push interval just determines what's the maximum amount of time until we have to send these logs to AWS CloudWatch. Um, we can also specify disable log creation, which means that it's not going to try and create the log group if it doesn't exist. And so by default, what happens is when you try and log to AWS CloudWatch, this end log target will see, oh wait, there's no log group called this, I'm going to try and create it. But if you, you say disable it, disable log group creation, it's going to skip that. It's not going to try and create it. Uh, another one is max queued messages. And this determines how many messages we store in memory before we send a batch of log messages to AWS CloudWatch. And so then there's a few more. There's log stream prefix, log stream suffix. So log stream prefix allows you to prefix a certain string to that log stream name inside the log group. And then obviously the suffix allows you to um, suffix the name with a, a specified string. And then lastly, there's stuff like region. You can set your AWS region that you want to target to if it's not set up in your profile already, which mine is. So that's why I didn't have to specify the region. And then you can also specify the layout. So how do you want logging messages to, to be formatted? You saw that it used the pipes to separate the different components of the logging message, but you can specify your own layout, um, in log layout, which it then will use to write those logging messages to CloudWatch. And so there's quite a few options that allow you to customize it. And so you can take a look at them, but in terms of just adding logging to an existing application, it's not more than a few lines of code and it works great. So hopefully it's clear how simple it is to just log messages to AWS CloudWatch using NLog. 
And like I said before, it's especially useful if you already have an application that's using Nlog. And so if that is the case, then you can very easily push those messages to AWS CloudWatch and then query them and get insights from those log messages there. This is the last video of this series, but if there are other logging libraries that we want to look at, how we can send AWS or send logs to AWS CloudWatch using those libraries, please let me know and I'll take a look at that.